Is this... Is it glasses? Yep, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Ijin san was eloquent in describing why he wanted to join, uh, join us. But he was able to tell us why he wanted to join us with such eloquence. I guess we weren't very good judges of character. Alright, let's buy some property. <clears throat> let's buy some property. Gotta get his voice out of my head. Alright, so... I am very tempted. Let's do it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let, let's, let's think about this. I need to invest first. And then I'll fight him. So, so I don't want to lose my money to be honest so I know he's somewhere there so we'll go back to that guy uh, what the hell's happening to my area why is there so many assholes what the hell are you assholes doing on my turf cross fight them these guys are no one Heh. <laughs> look what the cards brought us today so you're the one causing trouble around here. I'm going to need you to stop. Don't push your luck. You think we'll fold our hands and cash out because you said so? The gambling king wants us to discard anyone who chimps our style, including you. Gambling king lackeys. I think I can just grab one and here we go. Decent damage. How did you escape? Here we go again. Oh, that large fella. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Stop sign. Anyone else? You? Yeah. Throw him at him. Ah, missed. Any cool items around? Hmm. I guess not. It'll be really cool if they um they had you had the devil's luck. I love how they have that gambling theme uh, wording there. Jackpot. I was able to solve the problem. Now all I have to do is wait for the profits to come rolling back in. Oh, we got like gambling terms. So stupid. Anyway, the, I, I believe I was investing in... I wanted to invest in um, the gambler's turf, but... It just cost too much money, it was ridiculous. Like, this guy, right? Is this one? No, you can't. Um, so his turf is this side. If I remember correctly. And all I wanted to- uh, all I wanted to buy was this. And I couldn't afford it. Was it this one? No, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Am I going insane? Am I losing my mind again? Or was it this one? I didn't, I didn't want the store. Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Pachinko 777. The word on the street is their machine have, pay, have low payouts. But they're doing well. What should I do? Buy, man. Buy, buy, buy. Nice. Ho -ho. And let's see if we can afford to buy this one. Yeah, let's buy it. Boom. Nice. Cool, and I got a rod out of that. Oh, it's because I'm not supposed to buy his territory yet. I see. So there are an order to these things. Let's give him a fish. All my health back. Let's give him the deadly 
Vögel. Uh. How about this one? Oh, he just says the exact same thing. Yeah, he exactly says the same thing. Oh, I think about two more, two to three more fishes, and it'll be good. So it's leisure, electronic, pleasure, then gambling. Ah, look at this. I own this entire street. I'd love to be able to do that in real life. That'd be crazy, eh? Have that much money, I just own a street. You've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over 30% of Electronic King's area. <laughs> Let's keep uh, increasing our shares. Uh. Yeah, speaking of which, what can you tell me about this Electronic King guy? If I remember correctly, he looked like an otaku. Yeah. The Electronic King is a member of the five billionaires who control the area around Nakamichi Street. He apparently has an IQ of 190. And he made his fortune by developing and investing in cutting-edge technology. Nani? An IQ of 190? That's something. Never would have guessed it from the look of him. Yeah. That's not the only surprise. He's also supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. Mm. The word is that a bunch of young thugs who considered that area to be their turf fought with the Electronic King, but wound up joining his crew instead. So he's got brains, bronze, brawn, and a gang for when he, when those fail. Yeah. Yes. Since we'll be making our moves on his territory, we'll probably wind up clashing with them often. So the Electronic King managed to tame a bunch of young thugs, and he's got an IQ of 190. I'd better watch out. <laughs> I could have bought the gambler, but I flushed all that. Cold hard cash down the cat cat fight toilet. Yeah, it is true. <sighs> oh no. Payout stopped. Right, let's grab these first and then we'll deal with the rest. I feel like it's a waste of my money. Stock collection. Uh, stock collection. And let's deal with those annoying assholes. Let's buy it. Oh, I don't have enough. Thought I had enough. Hey, punks. How's it going? I don't really have the time for this. Did I really just pick that up during... Anim mid-animation? Come over here. I need more staff members. So it's there and there. Oh, why are they so far away? Alright, assholes. Yes, let's fight them. That medium strength means nothing. Alright, okay, good. They say the same thing. Have some fun. Who's next? No! I don't want to do the step move. Oh, what a waste. Whoa. That was massive lag there for some, some reason. No, I, I knew it picked up things automatically, but... I didn't think it would pick up during... um While it was like still loading up the battle. Like That was very unusual. Why'd have to be so far away? I should not. Let's fight him. <laughs> These guys are weak.
That move is so cool. I think I like. I like Russian Beast. And both those stars are really cool. But in the end, I still like. Um, I think I like Rush just slightly bit more. Because it gives you the ability to dodge. And I think that's very important. Hey, who's this guy? Didn't you see me talking to someone? Damn, son. God, I love that. So flashy. Oh, any star you can pick up anything. I, are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure you can't pick with Rush star. Oh yeah, this guy. Here you go. <laughs> Five mil. It's not too bad. Let's give him some more. Okay. Yeah, Tono. Alright, we got 10 mil out of this guy. What an odd place for him to be. <sighs> These guys wasting my time like this. I think I'm liking that the most right now. Damn it, there was a really cool brawler move, and I don't know what it was. I don't think Rush can pick up anything, actually. I'm pretty sure Rush can't pick up anything. Like, Rush style is only for, like, punching. I'm pretty sure. Right, let's go. Collection time. Oh yeah, look at that money. Money. Money bag. Oh, this guy's fine. <laughs> Can't beat me. Oh, more influence. That's what I'm talking about. Let's look at the staff members, zero and two. Nah, I wanna have more than that. Oh, one. He's on gambling. God damn it. It's still there. Alright, so we'll. Yeah, we'll just collect. Oh, these guys. Zero and zero. Nah. I guess zero and zero. Don't really have a choice now, do I? Oh, close. And I can't do the rest. Star collection. I'm still making profit overall. It's not a major issue. I need to hire more people though. Do you have anyone else? Oh, Mr. President, about your job opening. We have another applicant. What kind of person is it this time? This time, the applicant is a girl. I read her application and she has neat handwriting and her photo was pretty cute. I see. So she's cute. Mr. President, you better not hire her based on looks. Uh. Oh, of course not. What do you want to do? Do you want to do the interview now? Yep, let's do the interview. Uh. Okay, sure. I'll interview the candidate. 
Great, let's do this. You need to look respectable for the interview, of course. Mm. You know, it's kind of a pain to put on these glasses every time. I'll do the in do an interview. Can't I just interview like this? Mm. Oh heavens no. It's important for you to look intelligent. If you say so. You look really cute. Uh, you look really good in those, you know. Oi. Wait a minute. Are you just making me wear these because you like them? Well, um, actually, I knew it. Uh. Oh, he's our next candidate. It's time for the interview. Mm. Guess you're off the hook now. Ah, uh, hook for now. Come in. Uh, excuse me. I'm Sakuroko Josaki. Pleased to meet you. Uh. Yes, likewise. Oh, right. Please have a seat. Thank you. She seems so ladylike. Hi. Yes, apparently her family runs traditional Japanese inn. Maybe she helps out there. Mm. Makes sense. I can see her wearing a kimono. Well, we better ask her some questions. We need to figure out if she'll be good fit here. Right, so... Jogasaki-san, why don't you take a minute to tell us about yourself? Hi. Yes, uh, certainly. <laughs> I'm impressed. This sounds like a real interview. I picked up a book on interview techniques. You're studying on your own? I'm so glad you're finally taking your presidential responsibilities seriously. <laughs> well, naturally. Um, may I begin? Oh, right. Sorry. Please do. Hi. Okay. My name is Sakuroko... Jogasaki, I majored in business administration. My biggest strength is that I have actual work experience. My family runs a traditional inn, so I worked with guests daily while growing up. When we were short-staffed, I was even put in charge of the kitchen. I learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I would love to bring you a traditional meal. I'm confident about my eagerness and fitness. It means I don't give up easily. I very much hope You'll give me the opportunity to prove myself to you. Also, I often get asked at interviews, so I'll save you the bother save you the bother of doing so. I'm wearing plain white underwear, thank you. What kind of interviews are you going, Jogasaki? <laughs> wow, she was solid. She even told us the color of her underwear to shut down shut that down quick. She's amazing. Yeah, now I don't have to ask her. Wait, you're gonna ask her, Kiru? Come on, man. I thought you were studying um, interview techniques. What is this nonsense? Alright, let me just take a sip of water. Yeah, man. MJ services cost as much as a single electronics property. God damn. I'm thinking maybe I should just buy a bunch of properties first before investing. Let's talk about what she just told us. Was there anything you want to get more detail on? What should we talk about in more detail? Why aren't you taking over the family in? That's a good question. What can you cook? Why do you feel confident in your fitness? I think I'll go with the family in because, you know, family, there's a lot of power. Why aren't you taking over the family in? Well, I do find the job rewarding in its own way and I love interacting with the guests. However, it's also a very small and closed world the entire day revolves around the inn, and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the inn, I would like to broaden my horizons out here in the real world before I settle into that role. Mm. Wow, she's got it all figured out. She does. What should we talk about in more detail? Why do you feel confident in your fitness? I think that's a good one. You said you have confidence in your fitness. Why is that? 
I belong to a dance club in my university. Dancing is more physically taxing than it may appear, so I think it has helped me build my endurance. I see. I imagine you do traditional dancing for your guests, or maybe you can do that once you take over the inn. <laughs> Perhaps, but for now I would rather find fulfilling work at your firm than think about the family inn. Mm. So she dances, I bet she look great doing a traditional dance in a kimono. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. What should we talk about in more detail? You said you're a good cook. What are your signature dishes? Hi. Let's see. I'm quite good at meatloaf. Omelette with rice? Filling? Um, what else? Oh, I make a pretty, I make pretty great white sauce. I often use it for preparing gratins and European pasta dishes. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. You can make white sauce from scratch? And you're so worldly. Mm. That's impressive. It's easy to overcook white sauce, you know. <laughs> Until I got the hang of it, I found it a challenge too. Assuming I get the job, I'd be happy to bring some in for you to try. <laughs> oh really? Yes, please. Oi. Hey, this is a job interview, not a restaurant. That's about all the questions we have, I think. Jogasaki-san, do you have any questions regarding our firm? Hi. Yes, not to be f too forward, but... Is there a large inequity gap between men and women here? Yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Thank you. It's a great relief to hear that. Times are changing, you know. I was hoping I could find a job that would let me work just as hard as any man. <laughs> we have to hire Jogosaki-chan. Mr. President. She's a keeper for sure. Mm. Hmm. I'm not too sure about that. What is there to think about? A girl is this courteous? Courteous and so eager to work is a rare find in this day and age. Mm. She seems that way, sure, but there's something not quite right that I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Is there something wrong? Uh. Yeah, something's off. Something she said doesn't jive. You mean she's lying about something? Uh. Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it though. Hmm. What did she say that struck you as inconsistent? Oh man. I didn't actually um listen to <coughs> Okay, this ah oh, man. Okay. She says she's confident about her fitness and it's due to dancing, which is I can respect. She says she can cook. But so far she can only cook what? Omelette rice. No, I didn't read any word. Like, so what I do is I go into like an autopilot and I think about uh, just trying to do voices rather than actually reading the text. So now I have to use my working memory. God damn it. I'm going to ask her summary again. Sorry, Jogosaki. Can you give me that brief summary of yourself again? Hi. Okay, let's just um, read it. I'm not going to say anything. So she majored in business administration. She has actual work experience. Uh, runs family in. So worked with guests while growing up. Short staff was put in charge of kitchen. Learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I would love to bring traditional meal. That's it. Traditional meal. Eagerness and fitness. It means I won't give up easily. I hope you'll give the opportunity for it. Also, I get off it and plain white. I don't think she's wearing plain white. <laughs> I think that's the inconsistency. Hi. Uh, rewarding, love interacting with guests. However, it's, it's also a very small clothes. Well, entire day revolves around in nothing else. Broad and horizon. Mm. See what she can cook. You bet it's black. Probably is. Hi. So she said traditional dishes, right? But she goes meatloaf, omelette with rice, filling. 
and white sauce, gratins and European pasta dishes. Nothing about that is traditional Japanese. I'm assuming that's what she meant by traditional dish dishes. Hmm? So I'm gonna say it's um it's that. So she belonged to a dance club at university. Dancing is way more physically taxing. So yeah, that's fine. Let's point it out. Which pair of Jogosaki's statements don't jive? I'll say signature dishes. Summary and signature dishes. That has to be it. Um, but she did, she also said that she's willing to go back, right? Let's ask for the summary one more time. Major in business, actual work experience. Charging kitchens, traditional meal, summary and signature dishes. Let's go with that. It's a summary and signature dishes. Those two statements don't add up. Mm. Really? Well, now that I think about it, maybe you're onto something. Jogasaki, there's something inconsistent in your story. Inconsistent? What, what might that be? You said your family runs a traditional Japanese inn and that you helped out there on a daily basis. Yes, that's correct. You said you were put in charge of the kitchen, which made you better cook. Is that a problem? If I'm not working in a kitchen, it's only natural that I should become a better cook. How could that be inconsistent? Marina, let's say you were to stay at a traditional inn. What kind of dinner would you expect? <laughs> well, if it's a traditional inn, it would, would of course be Japanese cuisine like sashimi or nimono. Oh, and in winter, a hot pot would be wonderful. Uh. Right, and what's Jogasaki good at cooking? Meatloaf, omelette with rice, white sauce for gratin and... Oh! I don't know about you, but no traditional inn I know would serve those dishes. That's right, bitch! Busted! Have you anything to say for yourself, Jogasaki son? Wow, so you're really gonna nitpick me on something like that, Miner, huh? I bet you're a real hit with the ladies. And the bitch comes out. Jogasaki san? Huh? Yes, you're right. I made it all up. Grew up in a traditional inn. Are you kidding? I came up with that to spruce up my resume. So what? But, but... Incidentally, I also lied about being a good cook. I got too carried away with the details, I guess. Was everything a lie? Even the part about doing traditional dance at school? You're the ones who assumed it was traditional dance. I really do belong to a dance club at school. But my kind of dance is hip hop. Hip hop? The hip and hop? I'm so done here. Hurry up with my cab fare. I'll settle for 20,000 yen. No, we shouldn't give them any fucking money. Tell her to fuck off or beat the shit out of her. <laughs> I believe in true gender equality. No man, woman shall not leave this office not beaten. <laughs> Wait, we don't pay scammers. That's right. Huh? That's not what you promised. The posting said I'd get a cab fare for taking an interview. Why else would I bother coming? You should be ashamed, you liars. Seems to me, you're a liar too. It's okay for you to lie, but not us. Huh? huh? That's not what's that's not what's supposed to mean. You don't make a damn bit of sense. Uh? You just don't want to face the facts. Get over yourself, princess. That's right, princess. Bitch. <laughs> I bet you got everything you wanted your whole life, huh? Well, wise up. Out in the real world, nobody's going to pay for your self-centered lying through your teeth. Uh? The real world is a jungle, not a playground. And nobody gets anything they don't earn. So get out of my sight. Ah! That's right, Kyo. 
tell it as it is. Sheesh. I hope I never get on your bad side, Mr. President. Uh, yeah. Sorry for shouting. Yeah. It's okay. But wow, that was impressive how you caught on... Caught that inconsistency in her story. I didn't realize until you pointed it out. Yeah. It was kind of impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm beginning to find new respect for you, Mr. President Kiru. Oh, but I guess we have to start over with recruiting. Uh. Yeah. Thanks for taking care of that. Hi. Of course, sir. Your ace secretary has your back. I knew it was a scam. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Comment below to help the channel grow. And share it around. And hopefully you'll steal the show. And as always, take it easy. Until our next adventure, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.